everyone, it's PJ and Lulu Productions, and today um, I have an American Girl package. Da -da -da. Um, it's nothing very elaborate or anything. I only got a few pieces, um, and I will do my own version of my review of Be Forever. Um, I sort of have a love-hate relationship with that, so, uh, but that's another time. But I did... Um, purchase some of the uh, <laughs> some of the um, pieces from Be Forever so just the front of the new box eh, it's all right but um, I like the new design that they came up with for the side it does marry all the uh, past historical pieces to it there's a compass in here there are flowers there's leaves there's pinwheels there's diamond shapes there's buttons um, and so I think that's really cool, uh, how they have designed that, and it's kind of the whole way around. Um, one of the pieces that I absolutely love is, uh, Rebecca's Me Outfit, and this I think I saw on the website, um, sold out within five or six hours of the Be Forever launch, and then it went on back order, and now it is available, so... Um, I haven't opened any of these yet, and I've been seeing a lot of reviews on YouTube about these meat outfits, oh, that's lovely, um, about these meat outfits, and I was debating whether or not just to purchase Rebecca and add her to my collection or to just buy her meat outfit, and I um, decided that at this point, I'm not planning on adding Rebecca to my collection, so I felt the need to um, order her meat outfit, which is absolutely stunning. I think AG really did hit a home run um, with her revamped collection. I love her new collection. Um, this is a very, very soft um, tweed fabric. And it has shades of light pink, purple, violet, magenta in it. It's quite lovely. And the, um, the, the, um, the collar and the hem on the sleeves have very soft polka dots. I think you can see that there. And I apologize, I still haven't gotten around to painting this room like I wanted to, so you still see all my paint swatch swatches from in here. Um, but then there is this bow, and it's a perfectly made bow. You don't have to um, untie it and retie it. See, it goes the whole way in the back. And this is velvet. Um, the bow itself, the sash, is a velvet uh, fabric and has pretty uh, pearl-type pink uh, buttons uh, with uh, gold rim. And then this is just a Velcro. Um, I think I probably would have liked to see this um, become an actual, um, an actual, uh, um, uh, what am I thinking? Oh, actual buttons, sorry. Uh, lost my train of thought there. Um, but inside, it's just still the tweed. There is no lining in that. And then for underneath the, the jacket, um, is this very simple, uh, skirt here. And it's quite lovely. It has uh, the pleating in the front and just like an attached undershirt type almost blouse um, for that. And then Velcro in the back. Uh, ladies in her day, even though she is a child, they did dress children up like little adults, which I think is adorable. Um, but they probably wouldn't have taken the jacket off. They would have kept the jacket on um, as their... Uh, their outfit for the day. So it would have been more like this and they wouldn't have really uh, taken that off. Um, and I haven't, again, I haven't opened any of this, so um, here are the little bloomers, just like any other bloomers, that's not too exciting. And then the cute little black stockings that go with it. And what I'm really excited about um, are these cute shoes and I like the fact that um, AG changed this up and they're not just plain old Black Mary Janes or anything like that. But they actually have these cute little suede, uh, sorry, suede or velvet uh, purple eggplant plum shoes that are absolutely adorable. I love these. And they have a cute little white button on the side and a teeny tiny uh, little um, kitten heel to them. And they're just a very simple 
uh, Velcro on, Velcro off. Um, so that I really, really like. And that's the one piece. And of course, you can't really have, oh, see, it's all jumbled up in here. Um, you cannot really have Samantha, or not Samantha, she's behind me. Um, you can't really have uh, Rebecca's meat outfit without her accessories, and I love her accessories. I love this hat. I'm so excited. Um, I love the hats that they come out with, with the historicals. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so this is really more of like a fuchsia magenta um, hat, and it's really thick and really sturdy, just like it would have been in Rebecca's day. This is almost like a satin sateen fabric. Um, it has the flap here on the side or in the front, depending how she wears it. Um, the uh, little floral bow here with another pearlized uh, purple uh, button, but this has silver on the rim instead of the gold, like in the jacket. And again, it has the mirror, a mirror image of the, um, the velvet uh, ribbon that's in her sash. And that goes the whole way around. This is a formed hat. It is a sturdy hat. Um, it's really pretty, very, very well done on the inside of the hat. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. I'm really excited. Um, so that is for Rebecca, who I don't have. So I think this will probably go on Willow, who's my Ruthie doll. Um, so she will probably end up wearing that. And the last piece... And I'm not too keen on the entire collection, but there are pieces in this other doll's collection that I do like. And if my background has any indication, um, I did purchase Samantha's holiday set. I don't really know why they can't say Christmas. It's a Christmas dress. I don't know why they have to say holiday. Um, it's obvious not that it's not for Thanksgiving and it's not for Easter and it's not for any other holiday but Christmas. But they have to say holiday. Okay, that's fine. Okay, one of my biggest pet peeves, and this probably won't be going on any doll, um, is the fact that they really have cheapened out and they attached a scrunchie to the ribbon bow for the hair. I, this just, I don't understand why. Obviously, it's not historical. Um, there weren't scrunchies like this back then. And any girl eight or above who this is geared towards should be able to tie a ribbon um, or a bow in a doll's hair. Um, I don't think this is necessary. It's just a cheap way of putting it together. I think it's a hunk of junk. Anyway, but what I'm really excited about, and I'm sorry if I offended anybody, but that's just how I feel. This is a hunk of junk the way it is. I love this dress. This has been getting a lot of five stars on the AG website. They did, in my opinion, hit another home run with this. They did not hit home runs on the other items in Samantha's collection, in my opinion. I know not everybody feels that way, but that's just my two cents. I love this. This is more of, I don't think really a full taffeta fabric. It's not that, um, it's kind of like that fabric, but it's not it's softer. But I love this red plaid and I love the detail of the lace at the top and the scalloped black lace here. And again, you have a velvet ribbon um, at the midriff and it's sort of puffed here. So I really hope it's puffed like that when it actually goes on the doll because that would have been more historically accurate. Um, and the uh, velvet ribbon goes the whole way in the back and ties. Again, you can't undo this. It is done by Velcro. Um, um, I guess I'll never really understand AG's obsession with Velcro for all of their clothes. Um, because one, it can get snagged on the fabric. And two, um, I have not found the foolproof way yet to not get your doll's hair snagged in any of the Velcro either. There's always some piece of her hair that always gets um, snagged. So anyway... That is her uh, dress, and I love these um, velvet shoes as well. 
I think they're very pretty, very um, historically accurate, Victorian era. Lovely, they have a little bow. They're kind of hard to see, but it is a velvet um, fabric, and it does have a kitten heel to it. So you have both of those as the, um, the little booties there. Then, of course, just plain stockings. And this is what I'm really excited about, too. Um, this is a beautiful uh, rosette uh, doily um, type that she can put on her silver tray. I don't know if you can see that. It has beautiful, beautiful uh, details and edging and little cutouts there for her doily. And then this silver tray. And this is um, heavier than I thought it was going to be. So I'm happy about that. It's a few little uh, finger smudges, um, but anyway. Um, and so here is her tray. Sorry for the glare. Obviously, it's more like a mirror tray. Like, oh, I can look and see myself. Um, it does say, of course, American Girl on the back. And um, it does have the pretty little, uh, here, maybe that'll be easier, um, little scalloped edges here with some indentations and um, embossed images up here, some more scalloping. And um, you can put the little doily on the tray itself. Oh, do you hear that? It's heavy, sorry. Um, and then, oh, these are so cute. I love how dainty and sweet this is. Um, here is the sweet little teacup, and it is porcelain. It is like a china um, little teacup. And it has the gold rim and more of a rosy pink, which is Victorian, and the roses on the inside of the teacup. Really cute. Um, that's what it looks like in the doll's hand. Kind of, sort of, you can see it, sorry. Um, but then it has a little saucer, which is so cute. It has the gold trim. Again, the rose pink color, the roses. And it just sits like that, very precious. And it'll go on the little tea tray. And then what we have are some little goodies. And the colors of the um, petite fours, the petty fours um, here, are the same colors as I believe that's in her ice cream stand, the ice cream in there. Um, but these little petty fours are so cute. It's that um, mint green, the pale pink, and the chocolate. And the swirls and different uh, zigzag scallop designs um, here. So that would go on the tray as well. See that? And the last piece. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't own any... Um, uh, china or glassware or anything like that um, for any of the other historical dolls so this is my first piece and I'm really happy with it then you have her little tea jug here it's so pretty um, you have the little lid here the little lid the little leaf design and it is more of a rose, I don't know if you can see it that well but the um, top portion is a rose to match the rose in the um, teacup in the saucer so that's that one and then the little uh, jug itself is so pretty it has more of a leaf pattern back here with another floral here um, some other florals that surround you can see that leaf there it's very simple, but it's very elegant. And you have a rose cluster over here and another rose cluster over here. So we can sit that on her tea tray, just like that. She would be served a tea in her parlor with Grand Mary or Uncle Gard or Aunt Cornelia. And yeah, again, another look at the dress have to leave it out for a while probably to smooth out 
But yeah, that's all that I bought right now. I will be doing a review probably of the catalog at a later time.